This is it my viewers. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. The hardest vehicle in GTA 5 story mode. The vehicle, the myth, the legend. It is the mule. That's right folks, prepare yourselves for the real challenge cause today I will show you how to get this mule with a sort of random body color and a special shine. Let's check it out. To get this special slow piece of truck you need to be on a mission called Fame or Shame which is marked on a map as M letter and can be found in Michael's yard. It can also be activated when you simply switch to Michael. This does not work with a mission replay. Before we get into obtaining this truck I will explain what is this mule all about. You see in many missions in GTA 5 where you have to chase someone, in this case it's Laszlo, there is a rather scripted traffic consisting of various vehicle models. And not only are the models and their driving paths scripted, they spawn with a specific choice of body colors as well. These are all the colors which can spawn on the mule during this mission. Since this truck can obviously not be modified in the matchup, or maybe not obviously because of online you know. All those colors are exclusive to this mission only since you can never find them from traffic. Although some of them may very closely remind traffic mules, none of those here are the exact traffic tones so you are safe to get any mule that spawns. What is more, mule can spawn with three different special shines as well, however changing them is a pain in the ass. White one is the shine which spawns on the mule all the time when you are not doing something extra and in my opinion it looks pretty cool so there is no need to focus on shines when it comes to this vehicle, just get any that spawns. Mule can also spawn with 7 liveries, out of which the blank one is surely the best because you can see most exclusive color with it. However, livery spawn rate is random and since this truck is very hard to get, there is not much time to choose. You just have to take whatever you can get and be happy that you managed it. Since the mule cannot be impounded, we cannot use garage mode to get this vehicle and because it's not in your possession after simply exiting the mission either, we need to use death to get it. I personally hate death methods since they screw up the stats. Whenever I'm showing death on this channel, it means it's the absolutely only way to get the vehicle and that there are no alternatives. It also means that mule has an universal method across all platforms. The method starts off quite easily. Just start a mission like normal and work your way up to the chase part. First, let's discuss the basics. After you exit the arena, make sure that sticky bomb is the default weapon you are holding. After you set it to be your default weapon, it will always stay as such after each retry so you don't have to do this step again all the time after each fail. Next, after you exit the parking lot, remove the door of your phantom. It is truly necessary here because it gives you few valuable extra seconds later when you want to exit this truck as fast as possible. I gotta warn you though that this mule is not a joke. All luck based aspects aside, it's actually technically the hardest vehicle in GTA 5 and it will surely require quite a lot of real life time to practice this method and get used to it. Only one special mule spawns during this chase and it is literally in the worst spot imaginable because it's on a straight road where Laszlo can escape pretty fast. That means you need to be ultra fast with killing yourself before the mission fails and that isn't exactly a walk in the park. However, there is a rainbow behind every corner as they say. To get this truck more efficiently, we can actually get ahead of Laszlo during this chase to get ourselves many valuable extra seconds to steal it. For this, we obviously need to use a bit different route than simply following Laszlo. This is the route we need to take instead. For some reason, this one or that one over here do not work, although they seem like decent shortcuts as well. While on this route, you will have moments when Laszlo is about to disappear from the map. This short window before the actual fail actually spawns regular traffic on streets and this can also lead to traffic mules spawning, which can push shines on the special mule to be different than white. However, this is not what I suggest focusing on. You can do it if you want though. When you reach near this parking garage and make a right turn, you will usually end up in one of three situations. Mule turns either right, to the left or is just idling there doing nothing. First of all, if it turns right, forget it and fail the mission because it's impossible to get it when it turns right. If it turns left however, ram it off the road at full speed. If successful, it will end up being stuck behind the obstacles. Get out of the phantom, get inside the mule from the passenger door because it's faster than driver's door, get back out and kill 
kill yourself with a sticky bomb, while making sure you keep enough distance from the mule so it doesn't explode. Also make sure to watch towards Laszlo, because it will actually fail the mission a second later if you do so. After death, exit the mission. If the mule is stationary, you need to quickly pull up in front of it using handbrake to prevent it from driving. Get out quickly, and just like before, enter the mule from passenger door. Get out, run decently far, look at Laszlo and detonate the bomb to kill yourself. Then exit the mission. You can also detonate the bomb few frames after mission fails, like I did when the mule turned left. But remember that once the red fail message pops up, you cannot do so any longer. If it should happen that the mule has already turned when you reach our location, just fail and retry again. You will experience a lot of retries while trying to get this truck, I assure you. Either way, when you successfully die, you end up in a hospital after exiting the mission. Run to where your mule was last used, while making sure you don't use any vehicles, including taxi, or the mule vanishes. This might require brief map knowledge. Luckily, it's a short run. You can see how it's still there which would not be the case after a usual mission exit without using death. If the mule is not there, it means you exploded the mule with the sticky bump and you need to try it all again. For some reason, some vehicles in some missions will stay on the map after you kill yourself and exit the mission after using said vehicle. I did not get cool colors on my mules in my recordings, but hopefully you will be lucky with a nicer color. Once inside your mule, you need to store this into interior garage since at this stage it's the only storage unit which can fit it and I will show you how to do this. The method to do this will again be version dependent. If you play the very first version 1.0 on Xbox 360 and PS3, storing big vehicles is rather easy. All you gotta do is just park your vehicle in front of the garage door, get out and get back inside. Don't press any buttons until the engine ignites and if it does, just press enter garage button since the option to do so will still be on the screen. Unfortunately, this got patched and the enter garage option no longer stays on screen if you press the enter vehicle button. Sadly, big vehicles cannot be stored into those garages in later versions all the way until garage entry animations got added. So if you have such version and you have no space to store your big vehicle in, just skip it. With the addition of garage entry animations though, Rockstar made storing trucks possible again, unintentionally of course. And that method is more complex than the old 1.0 method. For this trick, you of course need your big vehicle, a small vehicle which can enter the garage and a taxi. Try to place your vehicles same way as shown here. The next part is complicated and requires precise timing. Press the button which activates the taxi side mission and immediately run into your small car before the dialogue ends. This trick might need being sort of familiar with what taxi dialogues sound like and turning on subtitles might help as well. Once in your small car, wait until the taxi dialogue is about to end and few microseconds before it does, press the enter garage button. If done correctly, you can exit the car after the dialogue ends, something you normally wouldn't be able to do. Right after you exit, try and run into your big vehicle as quickly as you can. If you fail, you can try this again, but I assure you, this is not an easy trick to pull off, and if you need further information, I have a video which is dedicated to that glitch specifically. This trick works with all three characters, however, it is a bit more tricky to do with Michael. For the end of this video, I would rate this vehicle hard to get. It is surely a cool truck with all those amazing colors, but in order to finally get it, you need to train really hard. In my case, death still kinda ruins the rewarding feeling if I manage to get this vehicle. But maybe in your case, stats aren't such an issue and all your hard work will pay off well in the end. I wish you a good luck. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, you can let me know about this by hitting a like button and of course by subscribing. Also make sure to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos in the future.